seated in the Holy Ghost. I hear the Lord says, get ready for the acts of the harvesters. Anybody heard about the acts of the apostles? Come on, somebody. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get into the spirit. Get ready for the acts of the harvesters. Like you had the acts of the apostles. <laughs> Anybody heard about the, the whole of the New Testament? The whole of the, uh, the book of Acts. Amen. Get that. That was the Acts of the Apostles. Those were the first. The Apostles were the first sent ones. Are you there? Yay! But God said the latter rain will be, will be greater than the former. My Lord, I can't get to move nobody. Amen. Amen. So the Acts of the Harvesters will be greater than the Acts of the Apostles. Oh, you're not with me. You're not with me here. You're not with me here. God rose up a mighty man that God called William Seymour in 1906. And God used him as a, as a vessel for the release of the Pentecostal movement. Anybody heard of the Pentecostal movement? Well, God is a man called William Seymour. And nobody, anybody was listening to the sermon? Amen. And nobody, his parents were slaves, real slaves. And he ran away from Louisiana because they were lynching the men. They were lynching them one after the other. And he ran away and went up north to escape those lynching. And he got saved. Amen. Glory to God. And, 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 then, and then when God revealed the, the Pentecostal movement, the anointing of the Holy Ghost to speak in tongues, he saw folks in his church speaking in tongues and he not speaking in tongues. Come on, somebody. Can I get in trouble? But they were speaking in tongues when he lay hands upon them. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Some of us would say, no, no, it can't be right because, because they're speaking in tongues before me. Come on, and I'm the one laying hands. Come on. And he was laying his hands. And as he lay, as Seymour laid his hands upon them in 1906 in Los Angeles, they began to speak in tongues. By this time, for hundreds of years, folks never speak in tongues in church. The only one they heard about was the book of Acts. They began to speak in tongues. But praise God, he keep on laying his hands. He didn't say, boy, it's got to be fault. No, he kept on laying his hand. And, and three days after one woman, then he began to speak in tongues. So you know war break out there. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 He went beyond the normal. He went beyond tradition. He went beyond norms. Come on, somebody. And let the Lord have his way. He went beyond what any preacher would do. Say, how come the people are more powerful than I? Come on, somebody. Amen. And keep on. Hallelujah. Until God break out. But as revival broke out, and today there is roughly one billion people who are Pentecostals. 
on top of the many who have died. Huh? One billion. That's one, that's one seventh of the world are Pentecostal because of the hand of God upon this mighty man. Say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he was persecuted, attacked his own, his own secretary, tried to destroy him. Took away his mailing list of 50,000 people. 1906. You have a mailing list. Come on, somebody. Of 50,000 people. That's equivalent to millions today. Come on. And his secretary, he did her nothing. He just married to the pianist instead of her. Come on. I'm giving the back, you know, behind the scene. Come on. He just married to the pianist instead of her because the pianist love him. She love him too. But she say nothing. But the pianist say something. Come on. The pianist says something and he married to her. The secretary get mad and, and took away the mailing list. So the magazine he had could not be produced no more. 1906. Have their own magazine. That's 1906. Have their own international magazine. Hey! They even tried to use the law to get her to bring it back. She said, no, no matter what happened, it's over. But all that did not stop the revival. That's why you're speaking tongues today. Lift your hand if you're speaking tongues. <laughs> Amen. It all. The secretary took away the mailing list. You are speaking in tongues today. For when it comes from God, nobody can stop it. Come on, somebody. Come on. This man was in a, in a Bible college. Listen, was in a Bible college. He had to sit outside. Well, all the people, all the other uh, uh, race sit inside. He sat outside, but he heard and he, and he received. You want to know how long he went to Bible college for? Come on, somebody. Six weeks. Come on, somebody. But the high calling was upon him. Come on, somebody. And when God began to use him and they kick him out of the church because he went beyond the norms, they kick him out, he went and opened a church. Come on, somebody. And then his teacher in Bible college heard about it and went to his church. My God, you can imagine how good he feel. Went to his church to preach. His name was Parham. He began to preach up a storm in Seymour Church. Come on, somebody. And after a while, he turned against Seymour and said, what Seymour doing is false. Come on, somebody. But the high call was upon him. You ain't saying, hey, amen. He was ready to go beyond the now. He was ready to adventure. Hallelujah. Into revival. Come on, somebody. So his secretary turned against him, took away everything, robbed him of all the, the means of bringing finance into the ministry. And come on. And it still continued. Come on. <laughs> his teacher, his lecturer turned against him. Come on, somebody. But he always traveled a lot. And every time he traveled, he would leave somebody in charge of the church. So he leave a man called Durham in charge of the church. And Durham turned against him. Are you with me, somebody? And say he's false. Are you there? Come on and say he's taking the church money. Come on, somebody. And all kind of things turn against him. But today you're speaking in tongues. Come on, somebody. Because of the higher calling. Come on. Come on! Someone said, I receive the higher calling. In the midst of betrayal, it will still happen. Come on, somebody. In the midst of persecution, it will still happen because it comes from God. You ain't saying amen. In 13, Seymour prophesied that something gonna happen a hundred years from now, mightier than this revival. The revival took place for years, church. Church was open every day, every night for years and years. And some folks don't want that to happen now. They just want norms. I don't like norms in church. I don't give me the norms in church. Try something. Come on, somebody. Go beyond the norms. Get crazy. Get militant. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Sunday night, Sunday evening after we're finished preaching, Bishop, amen, I wanted to preach somewhere. You never hear this in your life. 
Come on, I finished preaching the evening uh, and I said, oh, these churches in New York, my God, they're so timid and, and scared. I wanted to preach somewhere. I did call me at, 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 at Upstate Church or, or Brooklyn or, 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 or Queens. I was just ready to preach. I don't know what I was doing Sunday evening. I don't know what I was doing. I was ready to preach Sunday night. And they all throw it away. My God, the church would be full right now. My God, they're baptizing people right now. The kind of anointing I felt on me Sunday night. My God of mercy here. Hallelujah. They don't believe me. They don't know that even, even Tuesday the day I was at one of the branches because the anointing was still upon me. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because it's revival time. It's crazy time. Come on, it's a higher call time. It's a beyond normal time. With all the boring church. I'm tired of boring church. I'm tired of regular church. It's high calling time. Quit all the norm. Hallelujah. Don't be afraid of nobody. So come and preach at my church. Ah! Hallelujah. Come and tell the bishop, I want to start a church. You see, you're going to get quiet right now. You're going to get quiet. I mean, crazy. Go beyond the norm. Too much normalcy in the body of Christ. God is bored with us. Come on, somebody. We are too normal. Come on, somebody. The anointing is upon you. Do us a cage and serve you. Anybody ever look for that scripture in the Bible? Huh? When the anointing is upon you, God said, do us a cage and serve you. Go and do something strange. And God will order your step. Come on, it's not a normal call. It's high call. It's beyond regular. You're going to be up there. Beyond the normal. My God of mercy. Are you with me, somebody? All this boring normal stuff in church. I don't want it no more. I want a high call. My God, nobody can work in me. You scared of the high call. Hallelujah. Hey! Hey, that's why the man of God preached like that tonight. God begin to nudge him. So we gotta go beyond. Such so anointing is upon you. Such so flames of fire is upon you. I want you to open a church. So don't worry yourself. Two weeks time or 20 years time, two this one. Come on, somebody. I know you didn't get that. Don't worry yourself anytime between that. <laughs> God of mercy. See the issue can angle it there now. Before you beg Bishop to come to your seat. I'm pointing on you there. Come on, somebody. Hey! As I call it, come on of the normal. Come on, come on of the ordinary. Come on of the natural. Get supernatural. It's I call it. Woo! Woo! Whoa! I call in time. Hey, Seymour prophesy. Hey, a hundred years from now would be a mightier revival than what happened. Remember, his revival have one billion people on the earth right now as Pentecostal. He said a hundred, he prophesied. He said a hundred years from now. 1913 he prophesied 100 years from now it's going to be mightier he said it's going to be at least double he said it's going to be at least double and in 2014 God released the vision world vision day come on you better get excited you better get excited if you don't if you don't get it, New York, they're already saying it on the field. When I was in Guyana, I went to that big theologian church. I got a historian, a big theologian, historian church. Come on. And full gospel. And when he went to that church, he said, this is one of the mightiest theologian, you know, in the Caribbean. He get awards for theology and history. And he's the pastor. And I had the privilege to preach at this church. Wow! When I went to his church and they heard World Vision Day. 
one one rose up and said, this is the fulfillment of Seymour prophecy. You're not excited. You know, we, we, we want to come on somebody because we're born in it and come on, so I'm just coming from Africa with several people saying the same thing. Come on, have you gone to other countries? They said, this is the fulfillment of a hundred year prophecy. You want to hear more? The man of God who come in here to preach. I couldn't remember where else I was. I was in Brazil. Come on, some folks take this normal because he is the most powerful preachers. They take them for granted. And this man of God knows this prophecy. And he and I sitting down on the rostrum before a quarter million people. You New York people want to take the move of God regular. I could give you so much right up there now to tell you what mistake you're making. We don't take this thing lightly. Come on, so I don't mean you. <laughs> Amen. Bef we sit down on the rostrum. I can tell you more details. Before a quarter million people. Are you with me? Glory to God. It was so. Come on, come on. Down. And he sat down and he said, Bishop, I know you not by you. He said, I know you by the spirit I see upon the men of God with you. So you have to be careful. So he says, I know you. That's what I see upon these men of God. I know you. Hey, he said, that which God has laid upon you is that which was prophesied by Seymour a hundred years ago. <laughs> come on, come on. If you were listening good, as, as, as the bishop was giving a little profile, this man has studied revival across the world. Come on. He has studied revival in so many countries. He's a scholar of revival. And he has identified no 100 years since seeing more prophecy and I'm seeing the fulfillment before my eyes that's why he's coming here come on somebody he's coming on his own accord we are blessed tell them who are taking it normal come on don't disappoint God he's not the bishop don't disappoint God Take what when God does things major and we take it minor, God pay attention to it. God said, Well, let me take it elsewhere. I'm telling you, this is it. Come on, see more. It's world vision there. See more prophesy. Not only see more, another of his protege, uh, her name is Woodsworth. I believe Ellen Woodsworth prophesied it. See, a hundred years from now. It's going to be much mightier. Hallelujah. It's a hundred years. It just happened. It just happened. When it comes to pass, you can't, you can't fight it. Right now, we just left Nigeria. Hey, and since we left Nigeria, they start their own momentum. They went and got a church by themselves. Come on. You got the information. Come on, a they got a church by themselves for the world conference. There'll be a major world conference. Come on, uh, World Vision Day conference in Nigeria. Uh, 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 June 27 and 28. And they'll be having a, 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 a delegates from every state. Come on. Apostle Moses called us today to say how much state he have represented it for seven so far. Am I right, executive manager? And he's getting more. Are you with me? Just yesterday, uh, uh, Pastor Oche had to have his own conference with ministers. Come on. Things are happening. Come on, somebody. Beyond us. Come 21. God, the, oh, the day changed to June 20 and 21. Yeah, it's happening. Glory to God. Others are recognizing the hand of God. It's the high calling.
Come on, somebody. Did I tell you that we got Africans around? I tell you the truth. I don't lie. Come on, somebody. Jesus. Come on. Because they see what's happening. They hear what's happening. I can't start to tell you. The little we tell you so small, so overwhelming. Come on. What revival. Hallelujah. I struck the earth. Hallelujah. And New York, you have the first privilege. Take it or leave it. Hallelujah. Take it or leave it. I told, as I, as I, I told, did I say Africa is the place to watch? Come on. This man who is coming to this revival, his father, many years ago, dedicated his five sons to five continents. Made, this is the major dedicated them. So you are for this continent, you are for that, you are for that, you are for five of them. He dedicated them because his father was world in his mind already. That's an understand. Come on. Hey, hey! Did we say Africa? This man coming was dedicated to Africa. You got to watch when these things you got to... Come on. This thing I'm saying now is not just private information. If you go on Charisma, the number one magazine in the world. You see what I'm saying is right there. He was dedicated to the continent of Africa. You know what's happening? Explosion is right on the brink. Explosion, revival, explosion is right on the brink. And New York, be careful that you're not in the shadows. Look it on and say it started among us. Hey! Get ready for the high call. Get ready for the high call. Father, in your hand right now, we place the people of God. Glory to God. We pray, God, that the, the high call, hallelujah, will be fully realized, will be fully grasped will be fully responded to. Father, we rebuke the enemy in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the barriers, the strongholds. We rebuke distraction in the name of Jesus. We rebuke darkness. We rebuke lukewarmness. We rebuke complaint. We rebuke excuses. We rebuke situations. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray that there be an answer to the call. An answer to the high call. An answer to the, the call, the adventurous call. Lord, we pray that there be an answer to the unusual call. Let there be an answer. Lord God, it is mighty in time anointed calling for revival let the acts of the harvesters arise upon the earth oh yes let there be millions from america that will respond to the high call lord let the saints not be left behind and the rest of the world carry this high call lord let there be a hunger hallelujah for this high call in the name of jesus 